Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Backyard Garage. So I have been extremely busy. Um, I wanted to build a couch for the um, for the bedroom dash living room, I guess. I don't know, it's just one room, but I wanted to build a couch, but I also needed to build a bed. So I needed to build a couch bed, not sure. Anyway, let's see what I did. On today's episode, I built this and I will show you how I built this. It is not complete but it is pretty much done for the most part. And this is where we're gonna be sleeping. So um, let me show you how I made it. And, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this also will pull out like that into a bed. So let me uh, get you going. I'm just gonna put you on a time lapse on what I did. And then I will explain everything here in well, it'll be like two seconds for me and in just a few minutes for you guys. Okay, so what you saw me build and everything was this whole thing. I built the frame first, and then you saw me put a piece of two by two back here before I screwed these on, because I want this whole thing to be able to hinge um, and lift up so I can get access to storage underneath here. So that's my next thing is I gotta figure that out. Um, I only have it secured to the back and then just one screw on each side on the floors to kind of hold it all together. But is how this works is these slats are the same length. And then when I pull it out, let me see, there we go. You'll see that every other slat is on a piece of two by two that goes across on the back, which supports that. So when you pull it out, it just, it becomes just, yeah, a pull out sofa. Um, and then I put a, piece in the middle going across in the very middle here just so when you pull it out it doesn't fall down um, but yeah that's this is how it goes so when this is fully extended out like that that creates a 60 inch bed I know that these holes are big so I'm gonna test this theory I'm gonna get some plywood and cut it into two even sections 30 inches each put one there one here and then see if we sag at all. I don't think we will. I'll just use like a piece of half inch plywood. These are less than um, 16 inch centers. 
So it, it'll be good. It'll be, should be strong and it will sturdy everything up. And then for up here for the support, when I build these cabinets, I'm gonna build it so this edge right here is gonna be resting on the cabinet. So it'll support that side. And this middle piece, I'm actually gonna make it a lot wider. I just made it really skinny for right now. And the reason for that is because, um, yeah, I don't, I don't have these framed out and everything. So I didn't know how wide to make it. So I just made it wide enough so it can hold. So, but there she is. And this is what it was looking like. And then let me put you on a tripod and I'll get it shut. And to close it, you just grab it, lift it up a little bit. So it doesn't scrape on the floor, push it in. I will have to shave the backs of these down because they're hitting. So if I put it at an angle, when I push this in and up, it'll slide up easier and go back into place like it's supposed to. So, but there it is. Um, I love it. I'm very happy with it. I like how it turned out. Um, it's very strong, it's very sturdy. Um, I could definitely lay on here. Let me see if my dog can fit up here with me. Lucy, come here, girl. Lucy. Lucy. Hold on a second here, she's coming. Come on. Come on. Oh. What do you think? There we go, playing your own. Me, my dog, my wife can sit up here, my daughter. I was worried about the uh, foot space when I have this couch up. It is pretty deep, but that's actually good because we're gonna get a futon mattress that will go in here and it will just chill on here while we're um, while we're using it as a couch. And when we pull it out, it'll slide down. So, and this is actually really light, so that's good. So if we're just chilling here, if it's raining out or we're just relaxing, this is perfect. It gives us plenty of space. I got plenty of space down here for my feet to sit. Um, yeah, I am kind of far back, but like I said, that's fine. Um, it's a camper, so. But anyway, that's actually gonna be a wrap for this video. Um, I gotta do some brainstorming and figure out how I'm gonna get this thing to pivot up and down like I want it to. I have a pretty good idea of how I'm gonna do that. Um, I just gotta take it apart a little bit and do some more reworking on it. But yeah, it's pretty much made. And then um, I'm not sure if I'll record that progress or not. We will see, um, just depends. Because to be honest with you, it takes so much time to record, um, like doing this floor. It probably took me about four times as long to do it than it would be if I just did it without recording. Because you gotta set everything up and then you gotta try to get the angles. And yeah, it just takes a lot of time. And um, yeah, we'll see. I understand like this is just, it's just a hobby for me and I enjoy sharing what I'm learning and what I'm doing. But um, yeah, anyway. But like I said, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And we will catch y'all next time. Peace.